Oh, yeah, fuck that, that game. <laughs> I fucking hate that game. <laughs> Wait, do you so hate awesome, it because bro. you played it so much? <laughs> no, I hate it because I fucking... Who wants to run around first person casting magic and fucking... I don't even know. I just don't like <laughs> don't it. Get, this is not Wait, a review. Wait, you played World of Warcraft, this right? Is the, hold on, hold on. This is not a review about Oblivion. <laughs> I'm gonna read right now. Graphics zero. Gameplay zero. Fuck that game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so I mean, do you guys remember like the the PlayStation era of like everything from Brave Friends or Musashi all the way to I don't know um, <laughs> Final Fantasy nine. I mean, like yes, you could you could at least get like twelve or thirteen games each year that you could play for like months and months on end like the the place I don't think I've ever spent a happy day of my entire life since then every day is going to drag <laughs> yeah wow. that was definitely the golden age of consoles in my opinion uh, right i mean you got you got oh. Resident Evil 2 Resident Evil 3 i mean i i could keep going i mean you got Final Fantasy 7 uh, Xeno Saga Xeno well that was that so was so many RPGs Xeno right. Gears That's i meant to say Xeno right. Gears right Right, I mean... Yeah, Metal Gear, okay. dude. Metal Gear, motherfucker. Fucking hell. Right. Yeah, dude, original Metal Gear. And, I mean, that game was short. Alright, so... I mean, damn well, I put, I put, like, 80 hours in that fucking game. Not to mention oh, Final dude. Fantasy Anthology, 7, 8, 9... Right, so... Alright, so... Tomba? Fucking love that game. <laughs> Tomba, shut up. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, so we can, we can all agree that, um... It has been a while, and and the longevity of games are getting shorter and shorter because of the companies coming out with games. And clearly, I mean, it's pretty much plain as day now. These companies want money, and they want money quick. I'm gonna get. But I still think, bitch. bitch. Oh, shit. Video I games know. are like the movie industry. All right, the more the the bigger they get, the more people invest, which means that they want the game to be how they want it to be. So. Game companies can't make what they want anymore because they need to get a game that'll be easy, easily playable for everyone to buy and enjoy. Fuck them. Deep. I think that it's was a bomb somewhere. I'm tearing up. So I wrote so, it five uh, years ago. Five years ago. We can all agree that Left 4 Dead 2 is worth the $60 investment. Well, for the good few months that you can play it. I have three copies of it. Let's not get into it. <laughs> I guess that would. In the uh, long run, I thought I got my sixty dollars out of it, but I think that it kind of dropped off on how much I wanted to play it after the first like, month agree, or so. I agree. I agree, but the the introduction of people finally giving us custom maps has brought us back to it. Oh yeah, and can't wait not, to play more. Yes, it's not like an MMO, dude. I mean, you can't play it over and over and over again every day. Constantly, you play this game but I want for to. a month straight. You're gonna get a little bored of it. You gotta take a break. Do it. I'll even put up with the MC Hammer zombies. Okay. <laughs> I think I think the longevity of Left 4 Dead 2 is probably the longest I've gone with. Oh, let's play this game because it's awesome right now. Oh well, this game came out, but Left 4 Dead's still there. Like you've always had a linger in the back of your mind that Left 4 Dead is still there, and we're still gonna go back and play it. Definitely. Yeah. I'd say I give it an eight for uh, longevity, just for that right there. Yeah, I was, I was, I was pretty much. A, I'm an, I'm an eight as well. Uh, actually, yeah, I'm an eight point five on that. I, I love my life Whoa. has basically been. My life has basically been for like the past three years is nothing but thinking about zombies and different ways to kill zombies, and even got to the point of how can I start a zombie apocalypse because. You know, I want to have fun. Finally. Yeah, I've been waiting. Oh, I can't wait to figure it out. I know. I'm, I'm close. Live. I'm, I'm waiting, close. Dude. I figured all I have to do is change Microsoft on the inside and leave <laughs> them the same way they are on the outside, and then we're fucking golden. Anyways, copy. What do you think, <laughs> Longevity? It didn't make any damn sense. <laughs> uh, as far as the original campaigns go, their their total replay value, I'm gonna give that a four. With the added maps and all that, I'm gonna go with an eight. All right. 
Right. I like that. That he's actually got two different points. There. There's two different parts of the game. What was shipped and then what was unlocked to keep the game going. Good good fucking point. Also, innovation wise, I really think three sixty needs to do something to allow people to play custom maps. I know how incredibly hard it would be if we look at it at the standpoint that it actually would take to get it to do, but um like the people who have it on console are definitely missing out on what the actual game is supposed to be. It's not. There's the technologies out there. I don't think it's that much of a, a feat. It's the. It's a money it's thing. It's a money thing. I it's think that's the only. Yeah, thing. that's right. Yeah, if they did it, they're they're they're, they're gonna want money for it. And they're VPK files. So easy to just go on, put that VPK files in the overall server, browse the custom maps, and download it and install it. Boom. All right, so um, innovation, basically, uh, what has it done that other games haven't done, and uh, things like multiplayer and co-op that things haven't done, online gaming, what has Left for Done, Left for Dead, done, innovative-wise? Any any info from anybody? You play the story from two ends on a first-person shooter. You play through the uh, on multiplayer mode. You play through. You get to see the point of view through the zombies while you're trying to stop these last humans get into whatever they're trying to do, fuel, plane, trains, automobiles, and then you, you get to play it as those characters, so I mean, especially when you're playing with like 8, 16 people, and you're going back and forth, and you're just trying to, it's, it's a blast, you don't really get that in a lot of other games. Not not any that I can think of off the top of my head. Though. My, um, damn, <laughs> I think it's busted something, but anyways, my, uh, <laughs> <laughs> My uh, favorite and number one point of is uh, Left 4 Dead promotes friends and also promotes teamwork. Like, I've never played a game like that. There, like, there's first-person shooters where, like, if you play online, there's always that one guy with no matter how much teamwork you have is still going to wipe your whole fucking team out just because he's better than you guys. You... Shut up. You. We're not going to fucking talk about it. You. <laughs> <laughs> Let's run ahead really quickly. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. All right. So. Uh, we'll uh, forgive that. We'll forgive that. Hey, somebody had to say it. So. Um, in Left 4 Dead, like, even if you're playing campaign, if you're playing on v advanced or anything higher, you are not going to beat that campaign if you're not playing with friends. Because if you're not playing with friends, all you're going to do is argue with the other people that are randoms. Random people you don't know enjoy. Or the NPC online. kills you. Right, right. Or, Vegas. um... NPC every time. Of them. You, teamwork. Teamwork. I mean, you, everybody's got to know what sounds like what. Uh, help other people out when they're down. Know when to let somebody die and you need to go fucking heal. Uh, it... it I, I, think, <laughs> I think the innovation that Left 4 Dead has brought is uh, uh, cooperative gameplay. It's uh, definitely got it spot on. I have a point to make as far as what innovation I'd like to see in an app. Well, I also have a point to make, and it's, uh... No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I want to see eight-player cooperative, like, where everybody's on the same team. Uh... You better give With, me... With, like, a bigger map yeah, and more you better, zombies. You better give me a shit ton We're gonna need zombies. a different mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna need to be, we're gonna need Steven Spielberg to actually be the director. Maybe if they had like the the, the different Michael characters Bay. you play or, or Michael it, Bay. <laughs> Explosion. Well, it Technically there is eight player multiplayer. Play zombies and people. No no, I meant cooperative, all on the same team. Yeah, but I think if they, if they're going to innovate moderate, something though. Here, if, if they're going to innovate something new, they're going to have to introduce, like, job really Like, right now, you don't have... You can pick any character and beat the game with it. All Everybody performs the same. Where, if you have certain people that are better at some things, like, you know... Not, I wouldn't say more Borderlands-ish, where you kind of customize your character that way. But at least have, like, I don't know... The, the, the chicks could probably run faster than the big fat guy. You know what I'm saying? Or, That's fucking or, sexist, goddammit. Or like, uh, <laughs> you pick like, uh, say you're you're more proficient with the machine guns rather than the pistols right. or the 
And the girls go into the kitchens and cook food for you when you're hungry, and the guys go out and chop the wood. That's another thing. They're, they're naturally That's better with a frying pan. Okay, so so games like Borderlands, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool, being proficient with certain weapons. 